Howdy, YouTubers. Um, I get a lot of uh, people emailing me and explaining to me about how, uh, you know, they don't want to be involved with a Filipino with children. And and I, I get all of that. You know, at, at our age, I think that we can be selfish, um, if that's what you want to call it. And there's nothing wrong with that. And if you had watched any of our previous videos, you would have uh, you would have heard me say that when I first started talking to Christine, she said that she had a son. And I had to think about that for a long time. You know, did, did I want to do this one more time in my life, so to speak? And I came to the conclusion that I would have two people loving me versus one loving them. And uh, and that and that, of course, kind of changed my mind on my original mindset of finding a, a Filipina, uh, retiring in the Philippines and living life happily ever after. And in our case, our life took a totally different direction than than we had planned. And uh, I wanted you all to meet Ish and, and how and why our life changed. So uh, when I first met Ish, I brought him some little gifts. Uh, he was nine years old then. What did you think uh, when you first met me? That you were really tall and uh, scary. <laughs> yeah, he was really shy. And, and so we didn't really communicate well, not that he couldn't speak good English, um, but he was very shy. And, uh, you know, even now he's still, uh, he's still more quiet than, uh, say, the average American child. So, you know, sometimes we have a communication breakdown, but only because just really doesn't have anything to say at that point. So he doesn't say it. But um, my decision um, to uh, still continue um, pursuing uh, Christine to be my wife with her son um, has been nothing but a, a rewarding experience. And a lot of this, I didn't know exactly how to put into words. I've thought about this for several weeks and I thought, well, I'll just bring Ish right with me. So, uh, you know, now I go to parent-teacher conferences, and I get on his butt for uh, his homework. And of course, we uh, uh, we do lots of things. So, why don't you why don't you tell the people what are the what are the biggest things that you enjoy about the United States versus the Philippines? Um, there's like more sports you can do, like football, basketball. And of course, you were in band yeah, a couple yeah. of years. I want I want to try uh, wrestling mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. Anything else? Um, no. What so. about the weather here in Wisconsin versus the Philippines? Here it's like more cooler, but in somewhere in the summer here it'd be like somewhat cold and warm, but in the Philippines it's like only heat yeah it's hot and, and folks if you if you'd watched one of our prior videos we had went to back to the philippines in july this year and it was in the mid to high 90s every day in fact we wanted to do a video down in carbon market in cebu it was so hot that night i i, I was getting dizzy i thought i was going to pass out it was horrendous it was horrendous and uh so th there's gives and takes everywhere. You know, um, yes, we love the Philippines. Um, and we really love the Philippines when it's like 20 below zero here and you're butt deep in snow. But uh, otherwise, it's a pretty good life, don't you think? Mm -hmm. And uh, Ish, this year for the first time, got to shoot a gun. Um, I've got a 25 odd six that. Um, he's target practiced with and we went to a range last weekend how did you enjoy that that was nice it was loud too <laughs> other people shot yep get excited this this coming weekend's uh, deer season are you pretty excited yeah uh, we did go on a youth hunt um three weeks ago mm -hmm. he slept most of the time yeah. um, we had like 60 turkeys walk by um one buck that was out at 450 yards that we got to see with the binoculars, but it didn't get close. But that was the highlight of our youth hunt for the day. Um, but we did do that. And and I try to, to give him all the same opportunities, if not more than what I had when I was a child. And, um, 
you know, I want Ish to understand um, how wonderful things can be here in the United States. I'm on his butt almost every day for his grades. Um, he has a seems not to like to do his homework when he should do it. He's got missing assignments sometimes. And so we're, we're working on that. And uh, I've had four children of my own, so I've went through this before. And um, so that's okay. I'll do it one more time. You know what I mean? And uh, that way, once he gets into uh, college or tech school or, I don't know, maybe a girl's boarding house, I don't know. <laughs> whatever he decides to do when he when he gets out of high school then uh and then we'll decide where our future is going to be and at this point it's 50 50 between the u.s and the philippines it was you know we can't abandon our children but um what do you think of our school system comparative to the philippines here it's like uh i'd say like a better environment here mm -hmm. than the philippines because in the Philippines, you usually hear like, well, if your if your school is like, I don't know, in the Philippines, like your school is like, oh, in the I don't know, somewhere in the woods or something, you'd hear chickens, cows and stuff. Mm -hmm. But here, you just hear hear like, I don't know, like cars passing by, trucks, yeah. When um when I was over visiting in the Philippines. Uh, they were doing online schooling. And um, at that point, I really didn't see much benefit to that. And literally, when he came to the U.S., he's been playing catch up with the school system comparative to the Philippines. And he was in a private school in Cebu. So if he'd have been in public school, he probably would have been even that much farther behind. But um, but thank God that... Um, uh, they teach English in in the Philippines as a second language. His grandmother and, of course, my wife speak uh, pretty fluent English, although Ish is more uh, quite a bit more fluent than my wife. And then we, we both correct her, correct? Mm -hmm. Like, here's a good one. One day she said, honey, I really like these milk dudes. And Ish and I just burst out laughing. It's milk duds, honey. It's a, they mispronounce English words um, like I kill the Filipino language when I'm there when it comes to towns. Um, there's only a few towns I can actually say their the name correctly. So I, I can't say much about that. But Milk Dudes was was a funny one. And uh, so the school and the sports have been have been really good for Ish. In fact, he had some missing assignments uh a couple of weeks ago, we had to talk about that. I went seeing the assistant principal. And rather than lashing him with a bullwhip in the schoolyard, we figured that we would just sit him down and talk a little bit and make sure that he understood the value of getting his homework done on time. Because uh, if your grade fails in Wisconsin, you can't play sports. And I know how much sports mean to him, correct? So I, I think we've got a mutual agreement on making sure to get his homework in on time. And why I mention all this is, you know, even though my stepson here is from the Philippines, even though I'm not, you know, he's not my natural born son, so to speak. Um, we have a father son relationship like all of my children. It's no different. It's absolutely no different. Uh, they all had to be told to do their homework. They all wanted to do things in school. They, it's all the same. And uh, I love him as much as any of my other children. And um, for me, um, I haven't given up anything. You know, I know some guys will say, well, you know, you gave up your retirement um, to raise someone else's child. And, and uh, that's a really tough one. See, I don't think I gave up anything. I'm living my life. He's living his life. We all live our life together as a family. We love and care for each other. And uh, what have I given up? Sitting on a beach? You know? Um, 
I think the rewards uh, that I've been given by having Ish in my life far out, out exceed the, uh, the benefits of retirement at this point in my life. And uh, I wanted some of you people to understand that, yes, we can be, we can be selfish at, at this age and we deserve it. We deserve to be selfish. If, if you choose not to be involved with a Filipina because she has children, you deserve that. And there's not a darn thing wrong with it. Especially if you get involved with that Filipina and she has children and you didn't want to be there in the first place. And then you become a bad step parent. That's far worse. But, uh, but if you so choose to get involved with a woman that has children, um, I want you to see some of the rewards. And one of my greatest rewards of all of this is that someday this young man here is going to graduate high school and I'm going to be right there being the proud father, watching him graduate and watch him turn into a young man. And I've had that opportunity several times with my other children that are now grown. Why not one more time? So you got anything else to say, Ish? No. It's all good. <laughs> all right. On that note, if you like our videos, hey, hit the like button and subscribe. Hope to see you again. Bye.